We are today at the practical part of MySQL. We will start the machine and we'll uh, continue reading task number nine, enumerating MySQL. The usual steps to get started the machine. Um, when you would begin attacking MySQL, MySQL is likely not going to be the first point of call when getting initial information about the server. You can, as we have in previous tasks, attempt to brute force default account passwords if you really don't have any other information. However, in most CTFs, this is unlikely to be the avenue you're meant to pursue. The scenario. Typically, you will have gained some initial credentials for from enumerating other services that you can then use to enumerate and exploit the MySQL service. As this room focuses on exploiting and enumerating the network service, for the sake of our scenario, we're going to assume that you have found the credentials root password while enumerating subdomains of a web server. After trying the login against SSH unsuccessfully, you decide to try it against MySQL. In the requirements, you will want to have MySQL installed on your system to connect to the remote MySQL server. In case this wasn't already installed, you can install it using sudo apt install default MySQL client. Don't worry, this won't install the server package on your system, just the client. Yes, so let's do that for our machine. Again, we're going to be using Metasploit for this. It's important that you have Metasploit installed on Kali. It's installed by default and Parrot OS. Alternatives. As with the previous task, it's worth noting that everything we will be doing using Metasploit can also be done either manually or with a set of non-Metasploit tools such as Nmap, MySQL Enum, Script, and we have it over here, or we have from the exploit DB, we have actually a payload that we can use. MySQL remote user enumeration. I recommend that after you complete this room, you go back and attempt it manually to make sure you understand the process that is being used to display the information you acquired. Okay, enough talk, let's get going. Answer the questions below. As always, let's start out with a port scan so we know what port uh, the service we're trying to attack is running on. What port is MySQL using? What port is MySQL using? If we go to station X and we say here MySQL, we can see 3305 for this. Let's speed up the process. And we'll say here nmap for port 3306 for our target. Let's copy our target over here. And let's say a a hyphen a. Okay. Then we go for pn. Same port. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, behind a firewall probably. We have it. We have it there. So it's 3306 default port. Good. Now we think we have a set of credentials. Let's double check that by manual connecting to my SQL server. We can do this by using the command. Here is the command that we can use. All right. We'll go to our document. We'll paste it here. For the IP, we paste the IP root. Okay, so we are inside the official docs of MySQL. And under MySQL programs, client programs, MySQL command line client, client options, we can see all the flags that we can use. In our case, H is for host, where we'll introduce the IP. U is for user which is the username basically of the the db and p stands for and p stands for password on a, our command line let's paste that command my sql command and for password we say password now we are connected to my sql can we yes we can okay that's completed okay we know our login okay let's quit out of this session with exit and launch up metasploit we're going to be using mysql sql module 
Okay, for this, let's say exit MSF console, kick that. Search for, select and list the option it needs. What three options do we need to set in descending order? All right, we say here, search for MSF MSQL. Okay, we say use zero options. These are the three that we need to set password, our host and username. Username. Run the exploit by default. It will test with the select version. Comment, what result does this give you? Okay, let's set, we say password will be root, uh, sorry, will be password. Set our hosts which will be 1010, our target machine IP, 244. And we say set username root. Now we say option again. Options to check that everything is set. We can see password, root, and, and for our host, no. What was the, our host? Oh, yes, just uh, set. Our hosts. Now, if we say options, we will see. Cool. We say run. Boom. Sending statement select version. And we see it over here. Copy selection. Boom. Great, we know that our exploit is landing as planned. Let's try to gain some more ambitious information. Change the SQL option to show databases. How many databases are returned? Okay, let's see here. We say set SQL to show databases. We say list, oh sorry, options. We run. Boom. And we see all the databases we have over. Okay, now for the manual part, we see it over here in Nmap. And uh, we see Nmap or um, from the exploit database. We have this um, script, which is um, User enumeration, account user enumeration, utility, when an attacker authenticates using an incorrect password with an old authentication mechanism from Excel 4X and below to a MySQL 5X server. The MySQL server will respond with a different message than access denied. Mm, what makes user account enumeration possible? The downside is that the attacker has to reconnect for each user enumeration attempt 20,000 user accounts in seven minutes. All right. Uh, we have a username test world list is included in this packet. All right. We have a, here an example of uh, running our enumeration script. Right. Okay. Yeah, so basically it's just we provide a, a text file to an enumeration script that runs in the command line. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And here is just the format of the result. Okay. We have the jackpot. Okay. And for the MySQL enum, we have scripts arguments, script summary we know by now. We see the usage of that. And here we see valid, 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 valid. Basically attempts the same thing with a, with a word list. Yeah, so basically Nmap has its own database for usernames and passwords. And as you can see, we just have to paste this. Let's try it out. For this, we say here exit. And we paste this. The target IP was 10, 10, 2, 4, 4. 
was the last one, but for 202244, we paste it. <coughs> Boom. Valid credentials, test empty, root empty, net admin. You can see it. A lot of valid credentials. Uh, admin empty, administrator. We have. Okay, so this process is basically like us going over here to MySQL CLI tool and using just manually doing this kind of thing and just trying for uh, for error messages, right? Reading error messages and figuring out what is good and what is not.